Hi there, it's Kelly Dean from the Tummy Team. And I just wanted to talk to you about that overwhelming feeling of just wanting to give up. And I think that this is um, so common. And honestly, I've had just so many clients in the office and online in the last couple of weeks where we've really had to coach them through this. And I personally feel this. I feel this um, in lots of things, not just in this functional core rehab process, but like sometimes just even in running this business, there are times where it gets really hard and you just want to say, nope, I just don't want to do this anymore. Um, and there's things with our kids, you know, that we just want to give in sometimes. Sometimes it's like so hard to get them to do stuff that we just give up and just do it ourselves. Or we, you know, have a hard time like holding strong to things that we know are important, like not wanting them to be on social media, but then it's just like so much pressure. And then we just like, okay, whatever. In functional core rehab, in this process of healing your core and strengthening, it's so much different than what people think it is. You know, sometimes we think, just give me a couple exercises to do. I'll do those exercises and then I'll be done. And that's not really how it works. The exercises are a component of what we do, but really it's about a lifestyle change and a connection, reconnecting to your core. And that has to do with changing muscle patterns that you've been doing as compensation as your survival techniques for a while, right? And so it's about sitting up tall and supporting yourself and not collapsing and not bracing and not holding your breath and not powering through pain and not just ignoring what your body is telling you, but really listening to it and giving um, with the tools that we provide, giving you what you need. So everybody in our program, I would say to some extent gets to the point where they're like, I just, I just want to collapse on the couch. I just want to relax, you know, or I just want to go and do that crazy boot camp that I used to do or that all my friends are doing. I want to do these things. I want to get out of this rehab mentality where I'm broken and I have to be careful and cautious all the time. And I want to just live my life again. Well, the good news is that is what we want for you too. We don't want you to live in the rehab mentality, in the fear-based, afraid to move, afraid to do stuff, scared to, to move your tummy in the wrong place or your abdominal wall is going to pull apart again or it's not going to heal. The reason that we approach functional rehab the way we do, the core rehab process that we specialize in at the Tummy Team, where we build things into your day is because we want you to rebuild the functional strength you need to get back to doing all those other things. Now, some things are better than others. You know, I just, as you know, if you follow me at all, I don't feel like crunches are really the best option for anybody. But there's a lot of other things that we could be doing. And that is our goal. So when it gets hard, when you just want to give up and when you want to say, this is not working, it's not worth it, I want you to think about a couple of things. First, I want you to think about why did you start in the first place? Why did you start this process in the first place? Were you sick of feeling how you were feeling? Were you sick of feeling the broken? Was your back hurting? Were you just ready to feel connected and strong again? So cling to that initial reason you started because everything gets hard somewhere in the process. But if you can remember and remind yourself why you started in the first place, that helps you to reclaim that motivation. To Live on, and I learned this recently from Beth Learn, live on an 80-20 mentality. All or nothing, I talked about this early, all or nothing is a little bit of all and a lot of nothing. But if we kind of live in an 80-20, you know, 80% of the time, I'm going to be really focused on, you know, my posture and my movement patterns. 20% of the time, I'm going to be less focused and I'm going to let some things go. That 80-20 is totally doable right? And then we're not so strict with ourselves and we're not so, you know, hard and self-sabotaging, okay? So I think that that's something that's really important. And then I think the third thing is to, to cling to a couple of things, a couple of personal goals that you really want to meet. And these don't have to be like huge, I want to run an Ironman goal. If they are, that's great. But like even just some real tangible things, like I want to, you know, 
go to my kids' soccer tournament and not be in pain after. I want to be able to paint the nursery and feel strong. You know, something like that. Find something tangible that is a real, um, something special that you want to be able to do that's important for you. And remember that that is, that is one of the many reasons why you're doing this process. And then the last thing is just know you're not alone. This reach out for support, for encouragement. We all go through ups and downs. And when you can reach out and ask people, how did you get through things when you wanted to give up? Whether it's core rehab or something else, a lot of times those things all overlap. So if you, we would love for you to interact with us and tell us how, what do you do when you feel like giving up? I honestly today wanted to give up. I was like, I just think I should just close the clinic. It's just too hard. It's too hard. Too many people cancel. We're not getting all the referrals that I wanted for this month. All these things. I just wanted to give up, you know, but I remembered I came in and my first client, I was like, ah, oh, this is why I do this. My second client, oh yeah, this is why I do this. Third client, oh yeah, this is why I do this. So remembering why you're doing what you're doing. Um, and having other people around you to encourage you and support you and remind you that you are worth it and um, that you that it's going to it's going to get better. OK, so don't give up. We're in this together. Let us help you. Let us support you. Um, look for our resources. Join one of our online programs. Our online programs are full of encouragement and step-by-step -step progression that's completely doable. And we would just love to help you be strong for the life you were meant to live and um, help you get there. Okay, thank you so much. Have a great day.